Hi guys and welcome back to my channel Aim Small, Miss Small. For today's video I've decided to do something a little bit more practical. I shoot CCI primers and if you haven't run into this problem and you haven't stocked up on your CCI primers you're going to be running into this problem in the near future. It's becoming increasingly more difficult to find the CCI primers and if you find CCI primers is it the one that you've been busy shooting? So I've decided to take a little to a little bit of a practical test to see what the differences would be if you shoot for instance the small primer 400 and then you can't find it and maybe shoot the 450 or the BR4. So I've been asking myself what would the differences really be? Now I've been shooting 400 and BR4s for most of my shooting career and I've never even considered shooting the 450. As it says Magnum, we know we don't know what it means, no one's explained it to me and with the research I figured out what it actually means. So for the small rifle primer test that I've been doing, I've been doing it on the three that CCI has uh, got out. It's the CCI 400, the CCI 450 and the BR4. So the 400 is referred to as the standard primers. The CCI 400 is the standard. From there on you go to the CCI 450 which is referred to as the Magnum. And then you get the BR4 which is the bench rest. So I've been emailing CCI back and forth to find out what the differences would be and what the differences would be if I shoot one and then revert to shooting another if I can't, if I can't find the one that I'm busy shooting. So according to CCI each of the three primers run on different tolerances for different purposes. So your CCI 400 being your standard um, will just work on that as the foundation. From there we go to the 450 which is referred to as the 450 Magnum small uh, rifle primer and according to their website runs a 20% hotter flame. So according to the guys from CCI it's done for cold weather shooting to ensure that you get light up onto the powder. I don't know if you've seen it, if you shoot small rifle primuses in, in the extremely cold weather in South Africa, sometimes they just don't ignite or that you have the misfire. So temperature plays a big role on the small rifle primers. And then if we go to the BR4, which is referred to as the BR, the bench rest, uh, according to the CCI, they, they are held to much tighter tolerances, in, in essence to give you great, uh, smaller extreme spreads and smaller SDs uh, for the guys shooting competition. So as I said, I've been shooting BR4s for a very long time. The last couple of days I couldn't find BR4s, so I reverted back to shooting the 400. And I couldn't notice any extreme differences between the two. So it made me think, can you shoot the one and then shoot the other if you can't find the one? And what would the differences be? So stay tuned to the end of the video to see what the differences would be, not just on the speed, your extreme spread standard deviation, as well as just the drop on what you would have. If you are the hunter that's just reloading to hunt, this might be beneficial for you to watch as this has a major implication on what you buy going forward. For the long range guys, very important that you watch this. If you shoot in the 400 or the 450, I've got a surprise for you at the end. So stay tuned, we'll run through the shooting at the range and uh, we'll show you what the different speeds are and what the conclusion for the, two, for the three rifles are. I am going to shoot these three sets of rifle primers in two separate guns. I'm going to run it in the 223 as well as the 6.5 and my reasoning behind that is I'm going to do a small cartridge versus a slight bit of a bigger cartridge. If you guys would like to see a video on the 30-06 or the long action calibers please comment below and uh, if we get enough suggestions for that I'll, I'll support you guys and do the video for you. So for the 223, I run a 55 grain Hornady VMAX in a Lapua brass with a Hodgkin Varget. And on the 6.5, I run a 140 grain Nosla RDF H 4350, also from Hodgkin with Lapua brass. I have put some of the details in for you guys so you can see what kind of grain I shoot it. If you guys would like to know what length I shoot them at, please comment below. I will give you the answer on that. So let's head to the shooting range, let's finish the shooting and we'll come back for some of the results.
All right, guys, there you have it for the 223. Being the smaller cartridge, the uh, CCI 450 Magnum is the clear winner if you're looking at the extreme spread and the standard deviation, which is the smallest of the three. I am, however, going to be revisiting the 223. Uh, the reason for this is on the BR4 primers, I had two shots, one being 3018 and the slowest one being 2973, opening the extreme spread and uh, giving you a larger standard deviation. So just out of curiosity, I will be revisiting the 223 to see why this happened and if it was my reloading skills. But the clear winner, the 450 with a call it nine standard deviation on the primer. I think that's fantastic. So congratulations to the Magnum 450. My opinion on why it might be the one that has been the, the best out of the three is that the 450 runs that 20% hot to flame, giving you a more continuous burn through the powder every time because it's a smaller cartridge. So that's my opinion why I think it's one. But as I said, we'll revisit this and see if we can get it back. So now the 6.5, let's see what happens. And there you have it guys, the results for the 6.5. So clear winner, the BR4, no doubt about it. With my communications with CCI, the BR4 is held to smaller tolerances, which in essence gives you a smaller extreme spread and a smaller SD. And in this case, it is exactly the way it's supposed to be. So for the long range guys, if you don't shoot BR4, I'd suggest that you start shooting BR4. And for the hunting guys, Let's quickly do a little bit of a drop chart. So what I mean by that is, let's see what the differences would be in the drop between the 400 and the 450. I'll put the BR4 there for the long range guys as well, so you can see what the difference would be at extensive distances. I'm gonna use the average 300, 500, and 1,000 meters for the drop chart, and I'll run you through what the drop chart says. So let's quickly have a look at that. All right, guys, here's the drop chart that I referred to in the video. Um, I have done the minimum and maximum speed to work out your minimum and your maximum drop on those speeds. And then what I've did is I just calculated the difference between the two to show you what the difference would be if you're shooting the various primers. So if you're looking at 300 meters, uh, the drop is all put in millimeters. So your delta drop, which is mean the difference between the five shots on the 400, it will be 13 millimeters. 
and on the 450 is 16 millimeters and on the br4 is at six millimeters so you guys can see even at this distance the br4 is a better primer to use due to the uh, small uh, extreme spread in this ex the small standard deviation but if you're hunting it's 10 mils it's one centimeter it's it doesn't add you know it's not that value it's not gonna and then you're only shooting one shot when you're hunting so you'd be within the ballpark figure up to 300 meters so that's why i'm saying for the for the average hunter you can shoot either one of the three at 300 meters looking at 500 meters you get a 50 millimeter drop which is five centimeters and then when you're looking at the br4 you get the 23 millimeters so that's becoming a little bit of a difference uh in in grouping size but again you're shooting one shot so you you might be off by 50 millimeters so it might be considering shooting the br4s if you're doing long range hunting um, and then for the guys shooting competitions at long range if you're looking at the difference on the thousand meters ignoring the 400 and the 450 so you can reduce your group size down to 125 millimeters on five shots if you shoot the br4 that's why i said no question BR4 all the way for long range uh, competitions. It is held to small, smaller tolerances, giving you smaller ESs and SDs. So very beneficial for long range competitions. Guys, thank you very much for watching this video. If this was beneficial to you and this helped you to see that you can run between the different primers and for the long range guys, if this answered a question whether you should shoot the 400, 450 or the BR4, please subscribe to the channel, like this video and if you have any questions, please post them below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching. See you again.